32. During the pandemic, many local food banks have relied on CARES Act funding to help those in need. But that funding is actually running out at the end of the month at one location in Hannibal. WGEM's Isabella Rossi live there this morning with how they're planning their next move. Isabel, good morning. Good morning, Don. Officials that I talked to here at Douglas Community Services in Hannibal say that they've relied on CARES Act funding throughout the pandemic to help with the increased amount of need that they've seen at their food pantry. But with that CARES Act money running out, they just received their last check last month. They're now relying on the community for help. That last check that they received was for $7,000, and they used that to add storage space and help feed families. And they still have a goal of never turning away anyone who's in need. So now they're looking towards the local groups and donations to help keep their shelves stocked. We rely on those local funders because the heart of it is we can't wait for someone in Washington or Jeff City to come to Northeast Missouri and save us. We have to save ourselves. Douglas plans to get help from local groups that usually donate or give grants, like the Community Foundation for Illinois and Missouri, and from the United Way. They're also looking for individual donations and volunteers. If you'd like more information on how you can donate your own time or money, or if you're someone that needs help from a local food pantry, you can find more of that information on our website at WGEM.com. Live in Hannibal, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News. Isabel, thank you. And here's some more information on the exact need that is happening in Hannibal at Douglas Community Services. They've been helping people from farther away get that necessary food. So the pantry usually serves Marion and Rawls counties, but those in need have started coming in from Pike, Lewis, and Monroe as well. According to Feeding America, more than 80% of food banks nationwide are serving more people now than they did a year ago. Iowa